Big Daddy Shin hanging out. And so what happens, it's playoff season, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, I want to get playoff tickets. I want to get tickets for this, 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 this. I want to know to go to SeatGeek, StubHub, or whatever. Yeah, right? And then you go to, like, stadium, it's, like, super expensive. You go to, like, StubHub, eBay, all this stuff. They're, they're selling it for, like, double, triple, whatever the price. But I have a secret for you. So what happened is these, these, these websites are actually really, really, really to your advantage. Like, if you go, like, a couple days ahead of time, you know, to say, like, uh, like right now, I think my seats are, like, $90 or something like that, right? And then that's face value. And then what happens is people are selling it for, like, you know, $150, $200, up to $300. You're like, oh, my gosh, who's going to pay that? Some people do. But here's what you do. If you want to go to one of these games and you don't want to pay that much price, what you do is you get parking. Just, just buy parking. Don't even buy your ticket. Go straight to the parking, okay? You go there and you wait by the gate. So just say the game starts at 710, okay? You go on, uh, you wait by the gate about like maybe till about 7 o'clock, okay? 10 minutes before the game. You go on SeatGeek or you go on StubHub. Don't go on SeatGeek. They, 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 they double sell triple sell their tickets or whatever but on StubHub what happens is these tickets that are normally like 150 300 dollars these people are doing drastic discounts and you could probably get it for cheaper because what happens is on 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 StubHub if they don't sell their tickets by seven or whatever 710 game time if they don't sell at 710 all the tickets go off and these people get zero Okay, so what happens is last time, last game, I was driving there and I, oh my gosh, you know, these tickets, where we go? I mean, my seats were like $62 and then people are selling for like 150 bucks, $200, whatever, right? And then just for fun, you know, when you're going in the traffic parking, okay, how much are tickets going for, right? All of a sudden it said like, you know, 150 and then like two hours before game time, oh my gosh, they're, they're, they're 70. Oh wow, an hour before, went to 50. I mean, this is less than face value. And then I was looking at it, and I think like 30 minutes before the game, my $62 sit tickets for playoffs were going for like 30 right? And then basically you just went for a $30 ticket. All you can eat hot dogs or whatever. But also the cheapest seat before, I think it was like $50, but then right before game time, like maybe you know, like 15 minutes before, people are selling it for $15. So basically, if I had my parking that was already at the game, okay, I could just buy a $15 ticket, then beep, beep, and I'm in the game, right? So you have to think of, like, from the consumer point of view, if it's two hours before the game and these ticket brokers, you know, it says sold out game, sold out game, but all these people, they, they, they buy a bunch of tickets so they want to sell and get, like, profit, right? So, so what happens is if they have all these tickets and sold out, and people, you know, it takes like an hour and a half to get in the stadium, so if it's two hours before the game and they still have a bunch of tickets left over, they're like, oh my gosh, who's going to go out of their house and go, you know what, I'm going to go to a game. Oh, it's an hour left. Okay, I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to fight traffic, get there an hour late to, to go to a game. No, not too many people are going to do that. So picture 15 minutes before the game, right? You do it. These people are going nuts. They're probably almost giving the tickets away. So you could probably do it for like, I don't know, probably like five, ten bucks. But this should apply for any playoff game, any regular season game, even World Series and Super Bowl, all that kind of stuff. Okay? So anyway, Big Daddy Shin, if you want to get some tips on how to get cheap seats, there you go. I'll see you next time.